Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the final part of my Serie R jersey review. I'm quite excited about this video because it uh, contains my favorite team from Serie A and also my least favorite team. Probably also the best jersey and the worst jersey of this season. So it's gonna be an interesting. We have a few other teams in there that make it interesting. But of course uh, the two big teams will dominate that one. The seeded team is Inter. Because they pipped them with a last day of the season, pipped Milan for the fourth spot. So be it. We'll be back. Milan will be back at some point in the far distant future. I'm not saying much more. Let's get right to the jerseys because uh, we have quite a few to look through. And we'll actually start by a newly promoted team from Verona. And I'm very happy to see Hellas back. Um, I actually regret that I didn't buy in 2017 when I was in Verona. I didn't buy a Hellas shirt. Uh, yeah, should have done it, but you know, it will come. I've actually want to have a jersey also from every city that I've visited. And in Italy, that means Verona, that means Venezia, that means uh, Bologna for sure. That You know, there are a few more that it will happen sooner or later. So, Hellas Verona, I was actually a little bit taken aback and uh, stupid on my part uh, that I always assumed that Hellas, like Kievo, play in yellow at home. No, they do not. So, dark blue it is and Hellas is with Macron, which I also like. What I'm not so sure I like is, you know, you have the two shades of darkish blue and it's striped. That makes it a little bit weird looking, but I like the yellow accents. On it, two sponsors, also a little bit too much, but other than that, not much wrong with these. It just leaves me a little bit cold. I think it could be a little bit better. I, especially the striping of the two tones, uh, especially that the lighter tone is the kind of a dominant one because you also find it on sleeves. That's what bugs me, and for that reason, I only give this five stars. Uh, a little bit better is the away jersey, which is the yellow that I expected. I just don't like the... It looks like a college football jersey with these bands. And I don't know who started that one. I really wish we didn't have that. Uh, but other than that, it's a really nice one. It uses, for me, the right colors in there. So that's all of all I like about it quite some. And for that reason, I also want to give this a little bit higher rating. Um, yeah, if the band wasn't there, I would maybe go seven, but I give this six stars. But the best of the lot is clearly the third jersey. This is actually what I want to see from Parma. Something like this. This really looks nice. The white and then you have the striping in uh, yellow and blue. And uh, note, you take uh, only the part of the inner crest, which has the ladder, which is kind of um, a symbol of Verona. I really like this one. Even though there are the many sponsors on there, but you know the top sponsor is a little bit hidden. I like the color. This is a really sharp design. That's uh, I want to go ten stars with that one. Even though this one, no, ten stars. This is a really, really nice, nice jersey. I think that would be the one Verona shirt that I would like to have. And I know I do usually go with home jerseys first, but so be it. Really sharp looking jersey, Verona. I'm glad you're back. I hope you will stay in the league. I really like when Hellas is. In the league. We go to Inter and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. did I say worst jersey in the league? This is the worst jersey in the league and there are some things that I actually like about this one but it is still the worst jersey because of design. I like that they use a lighter blue for once and the black. Uh, this is the look they had I think in 94 and I, okay, I actually thought it looks nice. True. Maybe this dark uh, blue and black looks a tad bit more into but I actually like for it for a change they use a lighter blue tone. I am not sold on the white collar and shall we address the elephant in the room? The striping. It's an abomination and I actually think that from all the options they had if they want to have a diagonal striping uh, this is probably the best way to do it but it's still awful. Uh, and you know the center stripe starts black then you know whoop, 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 switch switch up and it's blue. And then the black, blue, and then goes over, and then black again. I have to say, I, I saw a version where they keep the color and it looks even weirder. So that's why I say it's probably the best version. It's just awful. I know what they want to reference. They had this diagonal striping on a away jersey. 
uh, in the early 90s. My brother had that one and was stolen from him. And stupid. Absolutely stupid because uh, as much as I dislike Inter, this was a really sharp looking jersey, I have to say, and it would be worth a lot now. So, yeah. Um, but put it on a white jersey. Make a white jersey with this diagonal pattern. That would be an awesome jersey. Don't do this mess. And then uh, you try to have striped sleeves, but then it looks weird on the back. It's a hot mess. And messes up one of the most traditional kits in Italy, even more than what Adidas did with uh, Juve. I'm sorry, we have seen a few really bad jerseys and most of them are just uh, downright weird. This is just awful. This is right, right up there with what Atletico Madrid did last year. One star, I hate this one. And not because I dislike Inter. I hate this. If this was Milan, it would be one star. It's absolute awful. There is nothing to like about this jersey. I'm sure it will sell a lot. I dislike this one a lot. Again, if you want to have the diagonal, make it white, make the diagonal pattern. I think this would be a wonderful away jersey for Inter. One that I actually uh, would want to have. This, no way. And I'm afraid that now they have, have, have encountered that this might be actually a successful jersey. <sighs> then we'll see this again. Please not. I hate it. Never again, anything like this. Please, Inter. Please, Inter. You can be crazy in all other things, not jerseys. Your jersey is an iconic one. Don't mess it up. And Inter really had nice jerseys as of late. Well, last year's was also... I mean, they, they came up with this sentence. Whatever. The Mishmash jersey. The away jersey doesn't get much. <laughs> I understand blue is in your color, but it's not mint. Why do you have gold? Why do you have black? I'm sorry, Inter. I'm really sorry. I, You know, you're the team I dislike most in Italy, although I, I softened a lot. But some of the Inter jerseys have been really nice ones. I actually, I don't want to wear it a lot, but I actually like this one. I really do. It is a good looking jersey. This is a mess. It is a mess. What can I say? It looks a little bit more traditional, but doesn't look anywhere inter. Make the gold at least in blue. Give me some Nera Turi stuff. Don't give me this mess. And then mint as an away color. I'm sorry. No. No. Inter might actually beat Walls because they're the worst looking team this season. <sighs> Two or three. Let's say three. Then there's a rumor third jersey. I have not really seen it. And. It actually is the best one because it's black with a little bit yellow in there. So, all right, we're having none of the club colors in there, but that's fine. The weirdest thing, though, is that Pirelli is in its color as it's supposed to be for the first time ever on Intershirt because that's a nice thing. Do you see here? Pirelli is in white. They don't demand to be there. And they're here in uh, yellow and red. Can be better. I mean, if, if Pirelli was there on there in yellow, it's fine. I, I give them credit. It doesn't look horrible on this one because you have the yellow accent. So there's some connection in there. I also think there's probably a snake pattern on there, which is, for me, I love rap reptiles. So this might be the most saving part of the whole thing. This is the best jersey and that's sad. That's a sad story. I still want to keep Wolfsburg the worst dressed team in the in Europe, but yeah, four or five. I give it five because it's really not bad looking, but it's also not great. Gotta be honest. So let's move further. <sighs> Milan. Everything that Inter does wrong this season, Milan does right. This jersey is awesome. This is awesomeness defined. Inter has the worst jersey in all of Europe. Milan has the best. This is a, just a traditional look. 10 stars right out, out, out of the gate. We are not even discussing that one. Uh, I like the thin straps. I like my favorite part of this one, that the strapping goes all the way over the shoulder on the back. It is front and back the same. We have the sleeve strap. This is perfect. The color, maybe in black. Yeah, maybe we can discuss I still love it a lot. This is absolutely perfectly looking. It's an uh, homage to the jersey they wore in 69, 50 years of winning the second time the European Cup. And that was the only time I think they won in uh, red and black. 
this jersey is awesome i also like the little devil at the back side of the uh, jersey this is so perfect i told my wife already she needs to get me this for my birthday this is too perfect i want to have this jersey i need to have this jersey it's awesome this is a perfect addition to my Milan collection. Uh, it reminds me of the Centenary shirt, which is a whole other animal, to be honest, with the crest and also the uh, old style color. But this one is perfect. 10 stars. I have said it before. My favorite jersey this season. And it's not even close, to be honest. Ah, well, some Doria was close, but this is really, this is perfection to me. This is tradition. I mean, the only thing is the Fly, em fly Emirates. If that was gone, it would be, I mean, I would give it 11 stars. But given that we have a sponsor that's actually now so ubiquitous, that it's all right. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Not quite as perfect as the away jersey. Uh, I like the white. I'm actually, Milan, I realize is one of the few teams that has a well-defined away color in white and it works well. However, here it doesn't quite work well and I have to say the Puma away jerseys have been hit and miss. This is an improvement over last year's jersey, which, which was awful. Um, white here and then you have one side in red on the shoulders, one side in black. I would wish there's a little bit more here or just keep it purely white and have the club colors on the collar. That would look better. This looks a little bit odd to me. Uh, leaves me wanting. It's not bad, but it leaves me wanting. Um, for that reason, only six stars. I think that's just something missing. Although the pure white color, nah. It's not quite perfect, honestly. It's decent, but not more than that. The third jersey, though, is a very interesting one. At first, you think, what's this hot mess? And then you look and then you see the design that I saw here, that you see that all these red lines on the black is actually making up this devil logo that Milan is now resurrecting. I'm quite happy about that one. And that makes it actually cool again. It is definitely interesting to look at. I like the black, I like the, uh, the red and that it's a little bit non-traditional, but it's uh, a hard jersey to grasp at first. You need to know what you're looking at. But once you see it, it's hard to unsee and it's actually hard to dislike. Would I like that the devil was a little bit more visible? Yes, surely I wish. Uh, there could, it could be, you know, throw a little bit less shade and let the lines flow a little bit more to make it a little bit more obvious. But still, it's a good jersey. I gotta say, eight stars. But I hope we only see the home jersey. We won't only see the home, home, home jersey. But this black one is nice. I actually like Milan in black. Now what we need is a uh, red jersey. Reverse this one. Make it a uh, red with a black outline. That what that we would need. Would be very interesting. But yeah. I repeat myself. Milan, yeah, Inter, blah. It's kind of how I feel for, for, for them. And I actually want both of them really look good. Really, really, really look good. What I do wish is though that Milan would go back to this look, although I really like the thin stripes, but this is how I like my Milan jersey most. But that thin strap one, for a one-off, and that's a wonderful, wonderful. Puma, I'm so happy you are now Milan's supplier. Let's move to another great looking shirt with thin stripes, and that's Spal. Uh, ever since I saw Spal the first time, I actually love those. Absolutely. But the thin striping that they have and also on the shoulders, cannot do wrong. Macron, you're doing an awesome job. I even like the collar, uh, looks really nice. So um, I gotta give this. I'm not sure about the uh, gold and black and that's for that, that. Uh, it fits with the crest. <laughs> I think it will be too much fun. That, that's why only nine stars, otherwise 10. The third jersey looks very much like the Udine jersey last year, but still, it's a workable one. I do like it. Uh, the gold is maybe a little bit too gold, so yeah. It's not a bad jersey. Seven stars for that one. Uh, and the third jersey, which I probably will see with goalkeeper is in red. Not so sure about that one. Um, again, it's not a bad one. I'm just a little bit uh, off put by the red and so. Eh, it's not bad overall. Five, six, let's give it six. And we'll end it with actually also a team where I would like to have a jersey, Udine, but I don't want to have this one. Um, I love the collar. This is a rugby style collar then with a, like a string pattern. 
But what are we doing with the black and white stripes? Why do we have this vertical weird band? And then the two sp the two sponsors are fine, but this vertical thing is kind of weird and off-putting. It's still a nice black and white jersey. Where shall we go? Help me out. I don't like the white field, uh, although I have to say it at least connects with the left sleeve, but not with the right. Four stars. Let's say four stars for this one. Uh, the Awakening in orange. orange. Uh, la, 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 la. Same color. But still, the orange is a little bit dark. But other than that, it doesn't look bad. Let's say five stars for this one, but this is a really... It's weird for Udine. Do you see the colors of the crest? This is black, white, silver. I think I should do a silvery one, to be honest. Um, yeah, we get something silver in the third jersey with also orange. I mean, they kind of they tried, tried to connect orange. I like the color here with the button down. Um, I like that they actually adjust the sponsor below, so that's nice. Um, but just uh, even the, you know, you have the upside down chevron. Uh, like from the Udine crest. So that's, uh, that's a really nice touch. I mean, the more I look at it, the more I like it. This might be the best Udine shirt. I mean, I prefer my Udine in black and white, but not, uh, it should be stripes, nice stripes, not what the mess that they do here. So it's maybe interesting. I'm going to give this six stars. And with that, we have looked at all the Serie A jerseys of this season, unless there will be something else issued. Maybe some of those will be European shirts that I may look at uh, when we do the jersey reviews there. Please drop a comment below and let, let me know what you think about the jerseys that I've shown you, whether you agree with my Inter Milan diode dichotomy in a way. Um, I can't look much past. I think this is the worst and the best jersey in Europe this season uh, and yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these I'll try to post every every day either observations from matches that I watched or a little bit of my jerseys or you know other jersey reviews at the next one I'm not sure if I will do a Champions League jersey review or a league on a jersey review next I probably will lean towards Champions League jersey review but not 100% on that one anyway there will be lots more videos, so please subscribe, follow me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the news that are revolving in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day.